This certainly is a monster of a crocodile. I would guess somewhere around oof, maybe 12 meters in length. It's an absolute monster. No, 12 meters is far too much. 12 meters is far too big. <laughs> Excuse me. Probably closer to around six or seven meters. And as you can see, as I zoom out, there are a whole bunch more also sunning themselves just like the others at Main South. Here they are, they are Goliaths. I mean, look at the size of these creatures. Oh, there's a little bird. To give you some perspective, let me zoom on in. Is it a bird? Yes, it looks like a lapwing. Ah. Oh. Well, I hope it's just relaxing there and doesn't have a nest, that little bird. Hello, snazzy Zef or eggs. I can't quite... Zep, wonderful to have you with us. You wondering if the crocodiles ever get tired of the water? And I guess they do when it's cold on a day like this. They will get tired of the water and move out onto the banks, as you can see, as they are cold-blooded reptilian beasts and they need to warm up with the help of the sun. So there's been a combination of crocodiles being in the water and out the water. I'm sure these ones would slither in quite happily if they, of course, managed to get lucky and have some wildebeest and zebra decide to cross here. But for now, I think most of the crocodiles in the entire Mara are all doing the same thing. We've had about 24 hours of cold weather, quite a lot of rain yesterday, and it seems like the order for the day. Also, another thing to remember is these crocs have had a lot to eat. They'll be eating a lot more in the coming weeks, but for now, they've already had quite a few easy meals of animals coming and trying to cross this river from the side that we're looking at towards us. That's been the main channel of crossing. It will change over time, though, and we'll have them crossing back to the east once they've come and depleted the food in the Mara Triangle where we are here. Aha, hello to Mercedes, and you are wondering if there are ever crossings that happen at night. And that's something that a lot of people have asked, and we're also very interested in. We've heard that they do happen, but there's no actual evidence or footage thereof. And there's even quite a few people, researchers, people that spend a lot of time in the Mara that have asked us that same question when they've heard that we've been spending nights out. Um, sadly, we haven't been lucky enough to capture a crossing on our nights out so far. However, it will happen at some point, which is very exciting. Now, I'm going to continue to scan these banks in the hope that we may find some action. But in the meantime, Kristen has found some warthogs.